Deep in the forest in a secret underground location, a man is beginning the most potentially suicidal phase of a generally ill-advised and quite dangerous construction project. He doesn't fear death, he says, because his spirit guides put ideas in his head for how to proceed and he's got a lot of Scorpio in him. This narrator is not entirely sure that amounts to a comprehensive insurance policy, but what do I know? The man doing the digging says buying insurance is the admission that circumstances beyond one's control are a threat, and there's no such thing as a bad outcome when you realise the entire universe is conspiring towards your highest good. Your soul's education is infinitely more important than trivialities such as death, apparently. Sounds like he wants committing to me, but it's probably a good attitude to have when you're 17 foot below the surface, hacking into a sandstone wall with a spade, no mobile phone, and about 7 miles from the nearest house. Right. Longer than I thought it would, but I've got it set up. I've got a post there, about six or seven inches in the ground. And it's got a little bit of pallet wood on the bottom for a bit of extra stability, and also it's going to take some weight. Um, this this one won't take a lot of weight. I've used my thinnest posts. I've got a small footprint. Further back in, I'll use bigger footprints. I've got bigger posts for the extra weight. I'm really happy with the way this stuff is behaving. You know, you might be able to see. I've left a gap here, which I'm hoping is going to be the thickness of that, which is about 12 mil. And now that the idea is to pick this up, it's going to slot through this gap and then bend like that. And then under here, I will start chiseling with a spade and pushing it in, pushing it in, pushing it in until, I, until I'm two foot past this point, And then I'll build another one of these. Uh, and then also, you know, once I get this thing up, it's going to block me in. I'm going to be stuck down here. I'm going to have to just throw the spoil back behind me. And until I've pushed it in two foot so I can get out of the hole there, I'll just be stuck down here. I finally found a use for this rusty old hand saw. Uh oh, looks like I'm thinking, and that always complicates matters. Just had a, had a think, and basically what I'm trying to do is slot it there, and then put it like this. But because it's four foot long, I'm not going to be able to do that, I've only really got two and a half, three foot here. So what I think I've got to do is disassemble this thing that I just made. Then the board can go up at this angle and fold up to there. And then I screw it into here, screw it into a 2 by 4 then I can rebuild this thing underneath it. And then take the screws out of this and then start doing what I was planning to do all along. So it's a massive, a massive mess about now, but this is where we are. This is what we're going to do. So with the support dismantled, I can begin raising the ply board to the ceiling level. hole isn't wide enough for the board. I was pretty sure that the hole got steadily wider the higher up it got. Um, but it's obviously not wide enough, is it? A bit more chipping away here. Um, I'm not coming out of this hole till the job's done. So <laughs> there we go. I can get my head out for air if I need it, but that's about it at the moment. I have no idea what's going on up top. this rusty old hand saw. Fix. 
terrain. Square. It should be square with this thing. Um, I imagine I'm not going to be able to figure that out until I can actually drill it out through that hole. So this is me now. I'm down this hole. We keep chipping away up here until I can grab this and keep shoving it forwards. And once I've done that enough and I can get out, I can see what else I need to do. I'm going to take a couple of the screws out. Well, I'm going to take all three of the screws out slide it forwards. And basically, the two at either side are redundant now because it's got the support in it. The one at the back is going to be the, the decider. It's definitely going to work. I'd say definitely. It's almost certainly going to work. I've just got a lot, of, a lot of chipping away to do a lot of digging. Obviously, I've got to keep taking it lower and lower here to get further and further up in there. And then, you know, just scrape it away with the sand saw to get the exact height. I think this is going to work, to be honest. It's going to be a lot more, a lot more sand to come out, but um, I don't think much more than I've already taken out up here. But I reckon if I stay at it another hour or so, I'll be able to get out of this hole. Or that hole. And this will be the first time really my luck has failed me on this whole project. Just finished that last little cut all the way across to the end and had a minor cave in. See, turn it up to about there, you know, just these just big lumps that come down. Big lump there, so that is pretty shit. Oh, that's not too bad. It's pretty bad. So, I'm going to knock that bit out then push this back and hopefully that'll give me enough space to get out. Yeah, I mean maybe, maybe what I was trying to do is just bite off too much at once. I mean you can see. I was trying to do that much at once. If I did half that or one third of that and then slid the board up, then did another little bit, then slid it up, you know, I was rushing it a little bit, I got carried away. If I get buried alive, I die doing something that I love. Right. See, that's where I got to. So there we go, I might be able to slide it forward and pack a load of sand on top of it. Sandbags, that's why you will put sandbags and fill that gap and really ram it in there and just hope for the best. But obviously what I don't want is for that whole back wall. You know, even if that only dropped half a foot, it's gonna wreck my roof. Huge risk, huge gamble. But... Okay. Probably just about squeeze out through that hole. I'm going to go up and assess the damage, see if I can sort it out. That's the bit pulled down with me. And this bit's still resting on the board. You oh, see it's weighing the board down on the left of this shot. 
generally fucking everything up. Fuck. I mean, other than the cave in, obviously, that's fucking perfect. That's good there. Screw that up to the bottom of there, looks good over that side. So it's, it's probably about halfway where it needs to be. Also I want to get, this is what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get this end here flush with this one. And that will give me four foot plus three foot here, seven foot. Enough room for a, a little bedroom. I'm halfway there. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking. I'm fucking halfway there. I just did a bit more fiddling about under here with the spade, cleared it out properly, pushed the board back as far as I can get it for now. I'm gonna leave it at that. I think when you undercut the earth like this, if you're doing it in a square shape, you're asking for trouble. When animals dig, it's like this. Um, you see natural caves. They're going to be like this on there if the water shaped it. It's got a natural arch, so the, the weight's being spread. When you've got a flat surface, there's a bit in the middle that's really just begging for some support. Here, it's, it's shifting some of its weight to the side, shifting some of the weight to the side there. This bit, nothing supporting it. So that's my way of rationalizing, continuing with this insane madness. I'm going to leave it as it is. If I come back and the whole thing's collapsed next time, obviously I'll just I don't know, fucking live in a house like the rest of normal people, you know? Or, um, if I come back and it's just the way it is, then I'll I'll continue and I'll just chip away a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. I think I'm actually, I'm probably far enough to put another one of these supports in. That's what I'll do. I'll dig out all of this and then I'll build another support like that under there. And then I'll think about it then. I'll think about whether I want to crack on and do another two foot. I really would like to, it's going to make this place, you know, a really nice place to live, a really nice place to come and chill out and spend time, even though I will always have that fear hanging over me that I'm, I might just wake up under 20 foot of earth one morning, but death is it's an occupational hazard when you decide to live your life as some kind of mole-like creature. You might be able to see, I don't know if you can see that, my foam mat, I've shoved it all the way up there in the corner, I've just wedged it in there. So hopefully this little critter that keeps coming and munching on it, because if, if it comes again, there's not really much of that mat left for me to sleep on. I was riding a, riding a high, you know, when I got that board up there on the, top of the, on the top of the ceiling and I started pushing it in, I was thinking, holy shit, this is, this is the last really challenging bit I've got to do. Then there's a bit more graft, digging it all out, and then it's just going to be the fun stuff, you know, putting the floorboards down, building the furniture, making it homely, oh, putting the fucking door on, making it homely. And now, I'm, now I'm feeling like I might have bitten off more than I can chew. Certainly seems that way right now, but when I was down in there I thought the whole lot had come down. Now I've come up and seen what it's really like. It's, I can cope with this. I'll know for next time, won't I?